Hi, Amber here, and today I have the pinhole cast on tutorial for you. I'll be demonstrating two ways that you can cast on with a pinhole cast on. Both are using knitting needles. There's also a method where you can use a crochet hook, which I won't be showing today as I find the needles methods really simple and I don't need an extra tool. You'll use this cast on for knitting where you're working center out, like this square was started here, eight stitches were cast on with the pinhole cast on and then it was knit out and bound off along these edges here. This cast on method is great to create a nice closed centered hole. You can tighten it by pulling the tail yarn and then when you finish the project, just weave it in to secure that nicely. Okay, let's cast on. You'll need your choice of needles, either a cable needle or DPNs, you'll just need one to start. And I'll show you the first technique, the simpler technique. So have the working yarn over to your right side and the tail onto your left. Loop the yarn, form a loop and just hold that in place with your thumb. So loop there. Then take your needle, insert it through the loop behind and work a yarn over. Pull that yarn over through the loop and you have one loop on the needle. Work a second yarn over. So now there's two loops on the needle and you're going to use your fingers just to pull that first loop over the second and that's one stitch cast on. So you'll repeat that for the number of stitches you need to cast on. Again, insert the needle through the loop, yarn over, pull that loop through, another yarn over and this time you'll pull the just work stitch over that yarn over and have two stitches on the needle. So you'll just continue this process the number of times needed. Insert the needle through the loop, work a yarn over, pull that through the loop, work another yarn over and pull that just work stitch over the yarn over. And continue until you have the required number of stitches. Eight is common. If you're knitting the supernova shawl, you'll need 10. And then you can just tug on the tail end of the yarn to close that loop in. Keep it a bit loose while you're initially working the stitches. You can always tug it later on and close that up fully. But you'll want the you don't want the stitches too tight when you're knitting that first row. And continue according to the pattern. You'll need to spread the stitches out onto multiple DPNs or divide them up to work on the magic loop. Okay, for the second cast on. So need the yarn and needles, whichever needles you prefer to use for working in the round. Have the yarn, the working end of the yarn on the left side and the tail hold in your right hand. Use your thumb to hold the yarn in place and wrap over the top of your fingers and under and have the tail yarn dangling over the back there. The working yarn is here underneath and use your thumb to hold that in place. Can be a little bit fiddly and tricky at first, but once you get the hang of this, it's quite a fast and easy way to cast on the pinhole cast on. So start with the needle, bring it under, behind and under that working yarn, lift it up over and through the loop 
bring it back under the other side of that working yarn, pick up that loop and bring it up back through the center of the loop and you have two stitches cast on. So I'll repeat that four more times for 10 stitches total. And I'll use my forefinger just to keep those stitches on the needle firm while I bring the needle under that yarn and pick up the strand, bring it up over and in the middle of that loop, bring it back under, the, coming from the other side of the yarn to pick up the strand this time and bring it up through the middle of that loop and that's four stitches cast on. I'll repeat that again. Under, up, through the loop, back under, pick up the working yarn and bring it back up through the loop for six stitches. And again, that's eight stitches. And once more, bring that needle down, under, lift up the yarn, bring it up over and through the loop, bring it back under, lift up the yarn from the other side and up through the center of that loop. And now I have 10 stitches cast on. You can see the loop here. I can tighten that by just pulling the tail yarn and I can leave it a little bit loose while I get started or I can pull it quite tight. You don't want it too tight while you knit that first row or round. and then work according to the instructions. Thanks for watching. I'll link some of my patterns below that have a pinhole cast on, and I hope you enjoy trying out this technique.